Here's how easy it is to integrate our 485 gateway, Troy, with Crestron Home. Don't forget, make sure you've programmed all the devices within Troy prior to beginning this process. Begin by opening Troy's dashboard, which you can access by entering Troy's IP address into a web browser. Click on Integration Settings and verify that the Telnet server settings are accurate. The Telnet server interface must be enabled, the Telnet TCP port must be 23, and you have to set the username and password for the Telnet server, which can be anything you want. Click Submit and then PowerCycle the Troy to apply the settings. Once complete, open Crestron Home and create a room. The driver allows for up to 16 rooms and up to 16 extensions per room. An extension is defined as either a group of shades or an individual shade, and we can create any combination of 16 groups or individual shades per room. Assuming we are maxing out the system, we could do 16 rooms and 16 extensions per room for a total of 256 extensions. Next, towards the bottom left of the screen, click the Pairing Devices icon, select Drivers, choose Platform, and then scroll down to Screen Innovations. Select Screen Innovations and you should see the Troy Gateway populated. Let's add the driver by clicking the plus sign, choose Yes, and then Continue. This process will take a few minutes. Once the system has restarted, click Continue, log back into Crestron Home, select Step 1, and click on the Pair Devices icon. Click on Drivers, Platform, and Find Screen Innovations. Let's begin by selecting the living room. Click the plus next to the Troy and name the driver. In this scenario, we'll name this Living Room Shades. Input the IP address of the Troy, as well as the username and password that we used within Troy's settings. Click OK, select the gear, and we can verify that everything is online. Let's double check this within Troy's web server. Click on the dashboard, and as we can see, it's showing a good connection. Troy is now communicating with the Crestron Home processor. Next, go back to Crestron Home and we'll begin adding our extensions. Select Living Room Shades, click on the plus by Screen Innovations Blind Group, and then name the extension. Since this is going to be an individual shade, let's just put Shade 1. Ensure that you check the box for Configuration Mode and click OK. Let's add one more individual shade. Follow the same process as before and then write Shade 2. For the final extension, we'll make this a group. Same process as before, just write Shade Group instead. At this point, we finished Part 1. Let's pick things up in the Crestron Home User app for Part 2. Within the app, select the room and you'll see all of the shades and groups that you've added from the configuration software. Begin by choosing Shade 1. By default, Group Control will be enabled, but since we want this to function as an individual shade, toggle Group Control off. Select the motor that you want to be associated with Shade 1 and then press Save. Test the motor to ensure everything is working properly and then close this by hitting the X. Let's repeat this process for Shade 2. Finally, open the Shade group and we'll keep Group Control on. You'll see a list of groups that have been already created within Troy. Select the group from the list, click Save, and then test the group. Once you've done this for every group and every shade, you've successfully completed the process. And that's how easy it is to integrate Troy with Crestron Home.